Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video we're going to continue, and we're actually going to make the math screen, uh, the math screen, and that screen will hold all the math-related questions. So first off, before we do anything, we need to import some stuff. So from screen manager import screen, exactly like that. And then also we're going to do from arithmetic import, oh, come on, can't even spell. I can never spell this. Now, if you, if you do this, it's going to give you an error that it doesn't exist. And the reason for that is because this is a custom made file. So I'm going to give you a link of where to download it. And it should look something like this. So yep, just like that. So uh, just look, check in the description, you'll have the link and you can download it and continue following along. All right. Anyways, once you have all of that, we're going to create a class. So let's just create it uh, under the QB Tutor class. So let's go over here and then put the little hashtags or pound signs, whatever people call it these days. And then we're, what we're going to do next is call it math screen. And it's going to inherit from screen and also arithmetic. Sweet. And then we just name a widget that will act as a screen and hold funks for math questions whatever and actually it's going to hold args and then quarts and then let's fix this oh, come on man come on come on come on all right cool there we go and I think that will be it and what's it complaining about? An extra line, yada yada. There you go. All right, cool. Now you have the Python file fixed. Let's go over to the Kiwi file to actually create the UI for it. So uh, let's just create it. Uh, where should we create it? Oh, actually, first, before anything, let's add it before we forget. So math screen. Come on. ID, let's just call it math screen and then name the same thing math screen sweet and then we should do it um, let's put it over here below the start screen so let's make some space and then let's just call um, math screen and let's see what should we do? What should we do? All right, let's just start building the stuff. So we're going to be using a box layout. Oops. Box layout. And then the orientation will be vertical. All right, cool, cool. And then the padding shall be, you know what? Let me just copy this. Oops. Because seriously. LG. Ah. All right, cool. After that, let's do spacing. Just give it 10 for spacing and then wrap label for that. And then, oops, wrap label ID. And guess what this is going to be? Question I question text. So you can probably figure out what's this label going to hold. So some dummy text just so we can see it. And then font size, the minimum of um, uh, root the uh, height and uh, root the uh, width actually. And then divide that by 20. No, not 20, that's too small by 10. Yep. Alrighty, now box layout again. And this time it's going to be an orientation of horizontal, horizontal. And the size hint is going to be none. So if we sent the size hint to none, we get, we're that saying, hey, we're going to tell you the height. So that's what we're going to do. And wrapped. Why do I keep doing that? Wrapped label. There you go. And this is going to hold the answer. So text and then the text is going to be blank and then the font size should be the same as this guy. 
and then let's see and put a space there we go sweet now last but not least is the button uh, let's see and this is going to be the clear button so it just clears the text that's simple as that text b and then clear and then slash b i believe yeah slash b and then mark up should be true because that would make this whole thing bold and that's what we want and then the size hint is going to be 0.3 and then none so this is saying hey this is the x the 0.3 is the x and the y we're gonna tell you right now so let's go tell it height equals question text dot uh, texture size and one bam and on release let's do on release so what happens when we release the button so the answer text is going to be zero so remember we said answer text and this is referring to this guy over here so that's going to make the text right here empty so in case the user has anything right there it will just be empty all right cool so now we made the ui for it let's actually make it happen Let, let's let's see it with our own eyes so go back to the main.py and then go back to change screen to this function inside a kv to the root class so all right cool let's just do else for now and then what we're gonna oh break time look at that break time i forgot to turn that off so excuse me for a second there you go turned it off okay sweet sorry about that and what we're gonna do next is actually do oops come on come on self dot current equals um matt screen but before we do that we are going to oh no wait hmm I'm sorry about that so before we do that we are going to reference it at the top the class that we just created the math uh, the math screen class so we do math screen equals object property none and guess what we need to import that oops you come over here there we go and actually I forgot what the import is for that one um, hmm hold up let me check so what the heck is it at oh my god uh, kiwi dot property so from kiwi dot properties import uh, object property sweet there you go so now that should work so this is referencing <clears throat> the math class that we just created that way we can manipulate it inside of here so anyways let's go back to over here but before we switch to the math screen what we're gonna do is actually change the screen so we do self dot math screen dot uh, question text equals um, equals the name of whatever screen they touched they press so for example in the next screen they it's either gonna pass in addition subtraction multiplication or whatever that's what's going to be and right now it's gonna look a little bit weird the layout at least I think it is I don't I haven't run it ran it actually so eh, we'll see right now so anyways let's put it to the test Hopefully I did everything right. If not, I give up on life. Oh sweet, I did it. So let's go. First first try. Huh, that's awesome. That moment of truth. Ah, uh, what? Oh, I know what's going on. Did we do that? Let's see. Oh my god, we're geniuses, man. Or at least I'm a genius. I forgot to do this. So go ahead and copy um, uh, this line right here. And paste it in every single button because uh, it's actually the same darn thing so okay cool now once we have that if we go back to the shell and uh, try to run it again and if I press it it should do it now oh my god question hmm so math screen question text uh, let's see where's the math screen at oh 
Oh, look at that. What I forgot to do was actually create the IDs, the global IDs. That way I can actually access this from how I was doing math screen dot question text, whatever from the Python file. So I forgot about that. My bad, my bad. Okay, okay, this time it has to work. If not, I just give up on life indefinitely. Okay, okay, that's it, I give up. That's it, I quit, no more videos. Um, okay, none time as attribute, question text. All right, did I save the other file? I did, hmm, all right, I need to pause this real quick. All right. I figured out what was going wrong. I am such an idiot. So go back to in the Kiwi file, go right here to the root one and actually make this. Uh, make the reference because I was trying to reference the math screen which was in the main.py. So when we say, hey, create this object, math screen, you'll find it in the Kiwi tutor. Kiwi went, okay, cool. I'm right here. Uh, oh shoot, I don't see it. So it, I'm going to make it into a nun. So that's what happened into a none um, object. So add math screen right there and also add this, add these two lines. Bam. It's amazing that this one worked. I don't, I can't figure it out. Oh, I know what was going on. Oops, my bad. Anyways, yeah, just add those two lines, make life better. And then when we go to the shell and we run the application and for example, put addition, bam. And if we press the back button, Bam, because we already added that one. So the back button automatically happens. So you see division, bam, mix, bam. And the clear button is actually working, but since we don't have anything in the text, it's already, oops, you can't really see it doing its job. So yeah, in the next video, we'll actually make it work. And hopefully in the next video, I'll actually be prepared instead of just winging it every single darn video. Alrighty then.